Arcadian Vanguard presents the Wrestling News in your daily wrestling newscast for Tuesday, May 21st, 2024. Good morning, I'm Mike Sempervivi. We begin today with Monday Night Raw broadcast live last night on USA Network from the Greensboro Coliseum in Greensboro, North Carolina. In the main event, Gunther defeated Jey Uso in a King of the Ring semifinal match. And now Gunther. Gunther's had enough. Hooks the bad arm. Now he's got Jay in, in some sort of sleeper here. Legs wrapped like a constrictor around the waist. Jey Uso's fading. Gunther's got it locked in. Jey Uso with nowhere to go. Ha- Jey Uso doesn't have anything left, I don't believe. Referee Chad Patton gonna check him. It's over. Gunther advances to the finals. He'll face Randy Orton or Tama Tonga on Saturday. The win puts Gunther in the finals of the men's tournament scheduled for Saturday in Saudi Arabia. On the Queen of the Ring side, Lyra Valkyria defeated Io Sky in a semi-final match to advance to the finals. Awesome Truth successfully defended the World Tag Team title against Finn Balor and J.D. McDonough with an assist from Braun Strowman. In a match to determine the number one contenders to the women's tag team title, Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark won a four-way match against Ivy Nile and Maxine Dupree, Caden Carter and Katana Chance, and Dakota Kai and Kyrie Sane. Sonya Deville appeared on the show during a backstage segment with Baszler and Stark, making her first WWE TV appearance since tearing her ACL last summer. In other results, Chad Gable beat Sami Zayn with help from Otis, and Braun Breaker picked up a quick win over Kale Dixon. Breaker continued to attack Dixon after the match until officials broke it up. I don't think Breaker's done yet. I do appreciate what he's saying. And now uh, some help has, has come out here now. Bob Breaker with steel steps in hand, and another official's coming out to try to protect a lifeless and a defenseless Ted Dixon from further assault by Bob Breaker. The match is over. They've got to get Breaker out of here. He's picked up those stairs as if they were a remote control. He's going to seriously hurt somebody else, Pat. This man is a freak show. We've done enough. Let's go. Get it down. Do the math. That's 100%. That is dope. Well, now he's got a steel chair. Breaker with a steel chair. Oh, my God. In ratings news, SmackDown drew an audience of 2.186 million viewers to Fox, according to WrestleNomics. That's an increase of 3% from the previous week's audience of 2.128 million. The rating in the 18 to 49 year old demographic was a 0.59, which is down from the previous week's rating of 0.62. And in injury news, Eddie Kingston will require surgery to repair his injured leg, according to a report from PW Insider. Kingston broke his leg during his match with Gabe Kidd at New Japan Pro Wrestling Resurgence, but it was reported yesterday that he also tore his meniscus and ACL. The surgery required to fix the damage is expected to keep him on the shelf for as long as nine months. And before we leave you today, we'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, you can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and seven days a week across social media. On Twitter, Follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. The Wrestling News can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the Wrestling News podcast. And remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, for daily updates, breaking news, and more, follow the Wrestling News across social media. And that's the news for today. If anything happens, we will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall, just the wrestling news. The Wrestling News is a division of Arcadian Vanguard, and the Wrestling Newscast is a production of the Arcadian Vanguard Podcast Network.